Okay, this is how you replace a flint on a zippo. It's pretty simple, uh, and I'll tell you a little trick first of all. Uh, let's say your flint is near the end and you feel a lot of resistance pulling this way, you can't really pull the wheel normally. Um, you would push it first and then pull to light it up. Now, to replace the flint, you would take it out of the casing. It's a relatively new lighter, so it takes a bit of uh, loving. Okay, it's out. Now, typically, to uh, take out the old flint, you would turn the uh, turn the screw. Sometimes you've got to use the casing as a screwdriver to get it started. You would take take out the old flint. Uh, obviously, this one is brand spanking new. You would uh, put it into the hole. And you would screw it in until it doesn't go anymore. You don't have to go crazy on it. Typically, I like to refill the lighter a bit when I'm... Uh, done replacing the flint since it's already out of the casing and as you can see I like to keep my uh, uh, my flints right with the uh, right, uh, right with the lighter fluid because they usually come in small packages which can easily get lost this way they're attached to a big bottle so you put it back in and it's good to go